Hey Scorpio, so as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a message for all Scorpio placements, okay? So Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Scorpio, then this reading is for you, all right? Scorpio, let us go ahead, jump straight into this reading, loves. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you. It's going to be a very, very quick reading today, you guys. Okay, <clears throat> I always say that, right? And then it always be like 15 minutes, but let us see. <laughs> let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you. All right, I'm feeling like somebody's emperor is getting their shit together. All right, that's what I just heard. Somebody's emperor is having a rebirth, ego death. They are surrendering to the divine, to the purpose of the mission. Anything that does not serve them, they are walking away from, okay? And it's going to come as a complete fucking shock to you, honey. All right, because this has been a very selfish person in the past. Somebody you've given a lot more to than they've given to you. But you you love them, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> they love you. You get what I'm saying? And they're ready to do right. So let's see. All right. <clears throat> messages for Scorpio. Now, the reading could have something to do with that, or that could have just been a clear audience message. But let's see. All right. What do we have here? Scorpio. The magician. All right. So transmuting something here. We have a three of cups in the challenge position. Okay. So, excuse me. Once upon a time, you guys could have been playing the role of the third party. And we have the six of wands here. Okay. So somebody was playing the role of the third party. All right. In their divine counterpart situation. Your divine counterpart could have been dealing with someone else or dealing with other people. Okay. Hence why I said they, they're ready to do right. Maybe the person was out here dealing with others or something you know what i mean like i don't really know how that works but maybe they were out here dealing with other people or doing something along those lines um maybe you were the third party i don't know you get what i'm saying somebody was the third party whether it was you or it was them but the situation has been transmuted here with the magician all right so let us see the temperance here in reverse somebody okay so divine timing was taking too long for someone so they're trying to take matters into their own hands here you get what i'm saying they come up with a plan with the Palace of Swords, something that they feel like will work, will get them their desired outcome quicker. You get what I'm saying? But with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, we want to be careful with that, okay? Because all things will happen in divine timing. We don't want to make a situation harder than it has to be. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting from spirit, y'all. The cycle will go on longer and longer if you try to take matters into your own hands. All right, that's what I'm getting right here. All right, so I feel like it's already happening naturally. Don't try to force it. All right, so what do we have here? We had a four of swords in reverse, the judgment in reverse, the five of cups. Yeah, if you go ahead and take matters into your own hands, you're going to stall the situation even more. I'm telling you. Then the person probably going to do something like um, be with this other person for good or something like that. You get what I'm saying? And then you're just going to stay a third party and it's just not worth it. Keep in mind, not every twin flame couple comes into union every lifetime. And it's because sometimes they just keep themselves stuck in karmic cycles. Don't deal with your twin a certain way if you know they're with somebody. You can talk to them. You can definitely talk to them. Why wouldn't you? You feel amazing when you're in communication with your twin. I know I, you know what I'm saying? Like... If you, if you're not with that person, okay, this is what I always advise my clients. If you're not in union with that person, physical union, right? But you still have each other's numbers or whatever. You still could spend time with each other. Go do that. You get what I'm saying? Spend time with each other. Talk to each other. Do that. All right. You're supposed to be in each other's lives, but you can also respect each other's boundaries, relationships, and whatever else you have going on. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to keep yourself stuck in karmic cycles and then you won't ever be with that person you know what i mean it's not it's not worth it so what i see here yeah the hanging one man it'll keep you stuck so spirit wants for you to look at this in a different perspective here yeah all right um i feel like they could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius that could be who they're with you get what i'm saying right now what about this queen of wands yeah okay so they're with them and they're with you that's what the fuck I see. All right, let us see. We got the tower card, but that's soon to change. So that's what I'm getting. Don't try to take matters into your own hands here. This is like a warning. You know what I'm saying? Because if you try to take matters into your own hands, do some sort of ritual or some sort of spell or some shit like that, don't do that. I always tell my clients, don't do that. You get what I'm saying? I would never advise anybody to do a love spell or love ritual on someone. Because here's the deal, y'all. Those shits are scary. Reason being, 
you don't never know who you're binding to you. You get what I'm saying? You don't know. You could be sitting there thinking this person is your masculine or your feminine, but do you really know if that's your feminine or your masculine? And in addition, what type of person are they? Are they abusive? Are they a drunk? Like, you don't even know. You get what I'm saying? You're trying to bind somebody to you. Get to know this person. Let spirit do that part. You get what I'm saying? If this is your true divine counterpart, I'm telling you, I am telling you, they are not going nowhere. Even if they want to, they're not going nowhere. Even if you want to, you're not going nowhere. If it's your true divine counterpart, you're not going to have to do magic. Leave that to the karmics. The karmics are out here doing magic on the divine masculine to try to make them stay in relationships they don't want to be in. Leave that to them and let spirit take care of them when, you know, <laughs> judgment day comes for everybody, baby. So don't do that. You get what I'm saying? That's just overall what I'm getting here. Period. Give us more here on this Three of Cups in reverse. We already see who they with. They with a fire sign and they with you. All right. So let's see. We got the Three of Cups here in the challenge. What is this? Yeah. They don't even see. The person that they with, they know is not their empress. Empress in reverse. They know that person is not their empress. They're not loving. They're not nurturing. They're not caring. But the cycle is not over yet. You know what I mean? It's some form of heartache that's going to be caused here because it looks like the fire sign is going to cheat. Okay. And um, you're going to take that as great news. That's why I said it's something here that's going to happen naturally in the situation. So just don't intervene. Let whatever's going on organically happen organically. You get what I'm saying? Don't say nothing. Just continue to be there for them. Be their friend. Because when this person cheat, <laughs> you're going to be right there. All right. So let us see. I wonder if you are happy without me. No, they're not happy without you. You and I were too young. I want to be more than friends, of course, but right now you with somebody. I regret lying to you. They probably hid this person from you, and they feel like they messed everything up. Keep letting them think that. You get what I'm saying? For real, for real. All that ass. Like, all, all jokes aside, that ass. All that ass. <laughs> we have I want you, okay? I just made that up. All that ass. All jokes aside, and that ass at the same time. All that ass. Because, no, you don't want to take matters into your own hand, then mess it up. All right? So, we're going to leave it here. We're not going to drag it out. We're not going to be the dead horse. If this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and happy.